Ballinger band's indicator is plotting two lines, the upper band and the lower band. They are placed at a certain distance away from a center line that is a simple moving average. When the markets are more volatile, the bands widen. When the markets are less volatile, the bands contract. The center line, the upper band and the lower band can be used in different trading strategies. The squeeze happens when the bands come closer together, constricting the moving average. This signals a current period of low volatility. Usually it precedes a future increased volatility and possible trading opportunities. Conversely, the wider the bands move, the more likely the chance of a decrease in volatility is. Breakouts above or below the bands are major events. Most of the time, price action occurs between the upper and the lower bands. Even though many traders treat Bollinger Bands breakouts like trading signals, they provide no reliable information as to the direction or extent of future price movement. The lines are drawn because of the price action, not the other way around. Because Bollinger Bands technical indicator is based on a simple moving average, it is also a lagging indicator. By the time a squeeze or a breakout is observed on a chart, the price evolution that determined the plotting has already produced the effect which we observe. That's why it's important to distinguish between the cause and the effect and trade accordingly. The first signal that I would like to tell you about is when the Bollinger Bands indicator, I mean when the Bollinger Bands are actually expanding. This is called Bollinger Band expansion. You know, when the bands are narrow and suddenly they like gain distance from each other, this is when the bands are expanded. And this signalizes loud market and high volatility. The second signal are the band contractions. Uh, when the two bands are close to each other, the bands are tight. This happens when the volatility uh, with the respective assets is like low. Uh, and um, this is likely to be showing you that the market is quiet. And this is pretty frequently associated with like, uh, say, corrections or consolidations uh, or some other uh, ranging uh, price, uh, price activity. Another signal is when the, the price action is hitting the upper band of the Bollinger Bands indicator. So this is like a tricky signal. Uh, and the reason for this is that uh, there is no certain indication about what exactly is happening when the, the price is hitting either the upper or the lower band. So what I can tell you is that you, you should like carefully observe uh, like the price's behavior and the Bollinger Band indicator because sometimes when the price is hitting a band, if he's going like strongly above that band, this might mean that the price is like extremely volatile and it is like uh, increasing sharply. But at the same time, it could also be an overbought or an oversold signal. So depending on the different market conditions, this could have a different meaning. So uh, one of the key indicators that I use and a lot of traders do recommend uh, are called Bollinger Bands. And basically what Bollinger Bands do is allow to, uh, you can basically see the range in which a coin is going to move in. And usually to buy in, we're looking for that range to uh, shorten up and then um, break further down uh, to allow us to, you know, it shows us that there is an oversold signal allowing us to get a better entry point. So um, it's mostly used for getting good entry points and also knowing when to sell. So overall, a pretty solid indicator to use when trading. So in order to get the Bollinger Bands, just click on the indicators tab. Uh, right up here it says indicators and i'm using trading view so whatever you guys are using just find where you can search for indicators and bollinger bands usually comes up first just the one that just says bollinger bands and go ahead and click that and now you can see it now bollinger bands i really only use on the one minute or five minute charts uh, mostly just the one minute for um, quick trades more so day trading so once we jump into the one minute you can see how this looks and the Bollinger Bands are uh, pretty interesting. So they have a line on the bottom, a line in the middle, and a line on the top. Now, um, for me, 
I only buy something uh, not only when other indicators are signaling to buy, but basically I only buy uh, on the bottom or below this uh, line on the Bollinger Bands. Because as you can see, normally um, these, the asset, whichever you're trading, moves in between those lines and usually bounces from the top of these lines to the bottom and then to the top again and then you know as it continues just continues to do the same thing so Bollinger Bands can be really helpful in order to uh, identify an entry point and also to identify uh, exit points so um, say you know it, it just hit this bottom and a little bit below you could possibly sell uh, as it has gone above and make a nice little profit for yourself so as you can see here that would have been almost 1% in only 23 minutes um, and just from buying when you know the Bollinger Bands are showing that it's oversold there was a lot of uh, sell-off action here stabilized for a moment and then started to move up again so <clears throat> um, I don't recommend using just the Bollinger Bands without any other indicators <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, but uh, yeah, so I don't recommend using the Bollinger Bands just by themselves. Um, I usually use them with a combination of indicators, including the RSI as well as Stochastics, and I haven't made videos on those uh, just yet, but I will be putting out videos on them very shortly. But uh, Bollinger Bands can be very, very useful to combine with other indicators uh, so you can find the best and optimal entry points for your trades allowing you to profit and minimize losses so um, if you guys have any more questions about the Bollinger Bands make sure to leave them in the comment section um, and any suggestions that you have or questions you have about other indicators you can ask there and I'll be sure to make more videos on whatever indicators you guys are interested in learning about but yeah um, one thing I don't want to do is try to go into the nitty-gritty details of each indicator because I know for most people that's not going to help you out. You just need to know that usually if it is on the bottom line, you know, nearing the bottom or below the actual uh, bottom line of the Bollinger Bands, uh, it's usually a good time to buy. Like I said, you should combine it with other indicators like the RSI as well as the Stochastics are my two favorites. But um, yeah, that just it's a little helpful for allowing you to know, okay, you should buy here and possibly sell up here.